In this question, we've been asked to find how long it will take for thallium 201 to decay from for the decay rate to fall from 5.88 times 10 raised to the power of 4 disintegration per second. So that will be in this case that will be the n naught. So that will be the initial value. Um sorry. That will be the initial value decay rate of thallium and that is five five point eight eight times ten raised to the power of four this is integration per second and to fall to two eight seven so that will be n t two eight seven this integration per second and the half life of thallium two zero one has been given to be three point zero four two days. And what we've been asked to find is T, how long it will take for the decay rate to fall from this to that. So what we have to do is find T. And we can do that by using the integrated rate law, which as this and we have to find this but we don't have k yet from the data we've been given you can see that we have the half-life and using the half-life equation you can relate the half-life to k which is the rate constant the decay rate constant and that is 0 0.693 divided by k. Therefore, k is equal to 0 0.693 divided by 3.042 days. And that is going to be 0 0.22. Seven eight per day. So now that we have K, we can go ahead and calculate for T. So now we have ln of two eight seven this integration per second divided by five. 0.88 times 10 is to the power of 4. This integration per second is equal to negative 0 0.2278 per day. T. Not this or cancel out that. And what we have life to will be so t is going to be the length of two eight seven divided by five point eight eight times ten raised to the power of four. All divided by negative 0 0.2278 per day and that is going, going to be equal to 20 3 
days. So this is how long it would take for the rates, decay rates to fall from 5.88 times 10 raised to the power negative uh, 10 raised to the power 4 disintegration per second to 287 disintegration per second.